linearly dependence and independence. Let S is equal to set x1, x2, etc. xn be a subset of a vector space V. E is linearly independent. If for any scalar alpha1, alpha2, etc. alpha n, alpha1, x1 plus alpha2, x2 plus etc. plus alpha n, xn is equal to 0. That implies alpha1 equal to alpha2 equal to etc. equal to alpha n equal to 0. And is linearly dependent. And is linearly dependent. If there exist scalars alpha1, alpha2, etc. alpha n, not all 0, not all 0 such that alpha1, x1 plus alpha2, x2 plus etc. plus alpha n, xn is equal to 0. That is at least one of the alpha is not 0. Clear? Problem is, show that the subset S is equal to set 1, 0, 0, 1 of the Cartesian plane R square is linearly independent. Once more, show that the subset S is equal to set 1, 0, comma, 0, 1 of the Cartesian plane R square is linearly independent. Here we want to show that the set S is linearly independent. Okay. By definition we know that the set S is linearly independent. Then it satisfies alpha 1 x1 plus alpha 2 x2 plus etc plus alpha n x1 equal to 0. That implies alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 equal to etc equal to alpha n equal to 0. Here the set is S is equal to set 1, 0 and 0, 1. Okay. For any scalar, for any scalars, any scalars, alpha 1 comma alpha 2. We can write alpha 1 into first one 1, 0 plus alpha 2 into second one 0, 1. That is equal to, equal to 0. That implies we can write alpha 1 into 1 is alpha 1 comma alpha 1 into 0 is 0 plus alpha 2 into 0 is 0 comma alpha 2 into 1 is alpha 2 that is equal to 0 0 okay that implies adding we get alpha 1 plus 0 is alpha 1 comma 0 plus alpha 2 that is alpha 2 that is equal to 0 0 from this we can write alpha 1 is equal to 0 and alpha 2 equal to 0. Now we get alpha 1 into 1 0 plus alpha 2 into 0 1 equal to 0 implies alpha 1 equal to 0 and alpha 2 equal to 0. Then we say that S is linearly independent. Okay. Show that the set 2 6 minus 4 3 9 minus 6 is linearly dependent. Once more, show that the set 2, 6, minus 4, 3, 9, minus 6 is linearly dependent. By the definition, we want to show that alpha 1, x1 plus alpha 2, x2 plus etc. plus alpha n, xn equal to 0. That implies at least one of the alpha is not 0. We want to show that at least one of the alpha is not 0. Then we say that the given set is linearly dependent. Okay. Let A and B be two real numbers. We can write A into 2, 6, minus 4 plus B into 3, 9, minus 6 equal to 0. Okay. Now we get A into 2 that is 2A comma A into 6, 6A comma minus 4a plus b into 3, 3b comma 9b comma minus 6b equal to 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now we can write 2a plus 3b equal to 0. 2a plus 3b equal to 0. 2a plus 3b equal to 0. Second equation is 6a plus 9b equal to 0. 6a plus 9b equal to 0. Third equation is minus 4a plus minus 6b equal to 0. That is minus 4a minus 6b equal to 0. So we get 2a plus 3b equal to 0. 6a plus 9b equal to 0. Minus 4a minus 6b equal to 0. 
that implies we can write 2a plus 3b equal to 0. Take 3 outside. Then we get 2a plus 3b equal to 0. Here we take minus 2 outside. Then negative 2 into 2a plus 3b equal to 0. Okay. Now we get 2a plus 3b equal to 0. That implies 2a equal to minus 3b. That implies a is equal to minus 3 by 2b. Thus there exist infinite non-zero values for a and b. Thus there exist infinite non-zero values for a and b satisfying a into 2 comma 6 comma minus 4 plus b into 3 comma 9 comma minus 6 is equal to 0.